Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessin for this that new here. And in today's video, I have with me my daughter. Say hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my daughter is right here. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Do you want to say hi to the camera? This is Ari Mama. This is Ayla. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Say hi everyone. Say bye everyone. Clap for everyone. Good girl. <laughs> hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you could have seen from the title. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tristan for those that are new here. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about fashion. And I'm doing this video because I'm very active on Instagram. These are my handles on the screen. In case you're not following me, please follow me on Instagram. It's more um, updated, it's more constant, it's more spontaneous, no editing, nothing, just as real as I can be. That's what my Instagram stories are for. So please check me out on Instagram. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I usually show my Instagram, like my, um, what would I say? When I go out, things that I wear, I usually post it on my Insta story. Maybe the outfits, the makeup, the hair. And I get a lot of engagements on my Insta stories. People always ask things like, oh, where did you get this dress from? And then because of the level of engagement, I'm sometimes not able to reply everyone individually. So what I do is I just take the picture from the website and I put it on my stories. And people are, people... The, the, in fact, if I had a penny for the kind of responses that I get when I post, you know, maybe the website models, they'll be like, are you sure this is the same dress? You know, not to, you know, hoot my tooth. I mean, how do they say it? <laughs> toot my horn or, you know, hoot my horn or whatever we said. People always say, oh, it looks way nicer on you than on the model. I'll see if I can insert, you know, pictures based on what I'm talking about. But if not, please pardon me. Um, and I'm always like, oh, okay, really, thank you. And most people, in fact, the, the status quo message that I get is, I would never have picked this if I did not see it on you. Or it doesn't look appealing from the website images of when I see. Someone even told me specifically this weekend that anytime she sees like flared hair or she just skips the post. So I just thought, you know what, it would be a good video to do like a screen recording exactly how I shop, what I look at when I shop, shop for clothes and how I'm able to find unique pieces. I need to put this out there, you know, what would I say? Taste is, is relative. Yes, what I was saying was, you know, taste is relative and the things that I find stylish, you may not find it stylish at all. So I just wanted to put that out there. What I find expensive might be cheap to you and what I find affordable might be, you know, very expensive to you. So it really depends on where you're at in your life, what you're willing to spend on. Because some people have all the money in the world and they don't like spending so much on, you know, fashion or clothes. And some people don't have all the money in the world, but they can literally empty their bank um, account just to buy one bag. I'm neither in the school of thought. I just like, you know, sustainable fashion. And that brings me to my next point before I actually go into the screen recording is that I'm in a point in my life where I'm trying to read myself for fast fashion clothing. I don't even buy fa fast fashion. I find that most of the clothes are not really great quality. This is just my own preference. And I'm trying to have like a time capsule kind of wardrobe, a wardrobe where in years to come the things that are there are still nice they're classics this, this is the kind of dresses that i like to buy and i say dresses because i have more dresses than tops than pants i just like dresses because they're easy i'm able to just put on the dress with my bag and my shoes and i go so i'm usually on the lookout for more indigenous you know british brands or even even foreign brands that are just you know more sustainable not like as if i can pinpoint exactly how it was sustainable but i know at least it's not fast fashion it's better quality which you know might cost a little bit more instead of buying a seven pound dress from maybe plt or one of all these brands you might need to spend 40 pounds to buy or 39.90 or even 80 pounds to buy just one simple dress but that's where i'm at in my life so a lot of the things that i'm showing in this video is tailored around that same um, desire so please watch this video with love Make sure as you're watching, you're putting your comments in the comment section. You're also sharing on your Insta stories. You're doing screen recordings. You're saying, oh, you know, see, follow Adeline Jaffet on YouTube to say I love you. That's my name. And yeah, we're just going to get right into the video. Is there anything I forgot? No. So we're just going to get right into the video. And I'm going to do a voiceover over the screen recording just so that I can better explain how I would shop on a normal day that I just want to have a shopping exercise. Oh yes, another question is how often do I shop? Because people always say it seems like I always wear new things on my on my page. I usually don't repeat clothes, which is not true. It's just that I do not go anywhere. I've been at home for the last 
I mean, my baby is going to be a year old next month and I've been home for almost two years. She's actually eating something. I need to get that thing out of her mouth for one second. So I've been at home for, I think, almost two years now. I don't go anywhere. Even before then, I don't go anywhere except church on Sundays. So when I have somewhere to go, I always have clothes to wear. New clothes to wear, pardon me. I have clothes in my wardrobe that still have tags on. And I do give out a lot of my clothes, which I will talk about more in this video. I do give out a lot of my clothes. So usually I just shop with the intent of, you know, if I was to give this piece to someone after wearing it a couple of times, will the person still appreciate it? And most times the answer is yes, because I try to buy more quality, timeless pieces. So enough talking, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to use ASOS as the first website that we're going to use just to explain how i shop you can accept um cookies but i usually try not to accept cookies because i feel like i don't want anybody advertising stuff for me all the time so sometimes i do not accept cookies except it's necessary for me to see the website so we're going to first thing we're going to do is i always go to women so it's always on women and let's say i'm looking for casual dresses like a midi dress i would just type midi dress now another thing that i do is i always open several tabs so i also go to a site like john lewis this is another website that i shop dresses a lot for because i find that the the um they sell like a little bit higher end things on john lewis so i just go to women as well and then john lewis, john lewis has lots of clothes so i'll just go to dresses as well so now let's go back to asos now now so I already typed midi dress so it's very important that you streamline your search i don't just shop sporadically as i said i don't do trends i just do clothes that i find that it will suit my style suit my modesty preferences suit my complexion and i try not to be too rigid i like the website to also suggest things for me in the sense of patterns colors so except i'm shopping for let me say an all white party and i've not had to go for any of that in the longest time so let's say I'm going to be as realistic as I do. Sometimes I want to buy a dress, but I don't want to buy anything over £60. So I move this to £60. For those that are in Nigeria, £60 times, let's say, 700 is about 42,000 Naira. So I move this cursor to 60 and yeah, I leave it on 60. Sometimes I do 50s. It depends on how big my budget is. I also just streamline by size. So because I have a sewing machine, I'm able to do up to even size 14. I wear a UK size 10 and I'm going to click UK size 10 and I'm going to click UK size 12. Reason is if I buy something and maybe I'm going to tell you why I do that, but I have a sewing machine. So even if I buy size 12, I'm able to slim fit it depending on the design. And I'll explain to you shortly. So as I said, what I now begin to do is um, I begin to go through the clothes. But for you, you can decide to do low to high so you can get like maybe more cheaper stuff. But personally, I find that the cheaper things on websites like ASOS are usually the things that have less, you know, quality, except they're doing like really, really good sales. So I try not to do low to high. Actually, most times I do high to low just because of my preference. As I said, I don't do fast fashion. I tr I'm, I'm, I'm reading my closet of any fast fashion items because I find that it's just a waste of money. And fast fashion does not mean it's trendy. It just means that maybe you know what I mean by fast fashion. So you can always Google it if you don't know. So you can do product type. I try to make sure I use all this. Um, what would I call them? Like the filters just to um, get what I like. I find out that the kind of my style, they're usually under going out dresses, work dresses, and some of them even occasion dresses. But we're just going to leave it at that. You can also do length and we're going to leave it at that. We're just going to start. So this is a no-no for me personally. The top is perfect, but the slit is a no-no. And because of this fabric, even if I decide to adjust it down, it might end up looking tacky. So I don't even bother opening this one. We keep going down. I really, really like this. This is my style. I know that a lot of people may be like, what is this? Like, this looks like Manti. But trust me, if I were to wear this, I know that it would be a stunner. I just know because it's my style. But the V-neck is too low. But I don't worry about that because I can see with the fabric, with the fabric, I am able to, you know, adjust it and close it. So what I do with styles like this is that I may buy a size 12 so that there's extra fabric on the on the v-neck part and i'm able to sew it up and another thing i want you to do is just try to make sure you shop on sites that have videos i know that little mistress has videos asos has videos john lewis sometimes has videos um roman originals has v roman original yeah so i think that's roman Dokoyo. they have videos so i always try to see the model walk i look at the fabric i look at the flow of the dress 
this is a yes for me. The only thing that I know that may be a turn off for me for this dress besides the, the neckline is the the sheet under but i have a lot of slips that i can wear under the dress what i'll do is i'll check my size i've already slim um streamlined it and this thing keeps saying it says your fit assistant is uk size 12 that's not my size but because of the type of the the fabric as i said i'm able to choose as a size 10 or a size 12 but for this dress i would choose a size 12 for this dress i would choose a size 12 and i would add it to cart or i save it right I'm sharing this account with my brother. Yeah, I, w I don't want to save stuff because he might think that I really, really need that. Also, I'm dark skin, so I know that this color is going to look good on me. And when I say dark skin, not like um, extreme mocha, but I just know that this color will suit well. I have matching sandals. I have matching bags. So this is yes. Another thing that I look at with dresses is that I do a lot of details. If you look at this dress, you can see the detail on the sleeve and then you can zoom in so the quality will be better of the picture you can see the detail on the sleeve you can see the detail these are the things that make clothes look very beautiful i don't know if you also notice that there are tassels somewhere on the dress i think this is a yes for me as i said you can also zoom in like this so you can see the 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 material of the dress and i like the how it's tiered so yes this is a yes for me so usually i'll just add it to bag or i'll just save it for later so i can streamline now the price is 45 pounds that might be a bit steep but i mean as you guys can see at the top asos does a lot of sales so i may be able to get this 20 percent off or even less so back so next outfit so yeah this looks like it would have been a yes for me but it has a lot of cutouts so it's a no for me this is a yes for me i like free dresses like this but i have lots of they're called smocks i have lots of smock dresses like this so i'm just going to skip so i keep going i'm going i'm going i also like this but i do not like the fact that the top part isn't fitted so this is a bit shapeless for me so i this is a no i keep going i keep going now talking about slits remember at the beginning i talked about the slits of that dress being to actually have a dress just like this in green i haven't worn it i probably will wear it to church maybe on sunday and i would zoom in this was formerly 75 pounds now it's 60 pounds i know that for people that have maybe a, a budget not too big this may be a bit steep because 60 pounds is about i mean 60 times um 700 for those that are in nigeria my nigerian audience, audience is about 442,000 naira. that's a lot of money but personally i like this but i would not pay 60 pounds for this so i would just look at it and see maybe oh is it worth the temptation and it's a no because of the v-neck this if i try to adjust it because of the sequence i feel like it may work but i'll need to do too much and also the back i will also play the video as well just to see and the v-neck is too low which i already called from seeing the way the model stood is just too low for me and the back is just too much personally so this is a no for me so i go back i don't even bother and that's the thing about me is that i don't just shop like um you know shopping is actually an exercise for me i take my time and i shop so that i get the best value of for money if i know i'm going to be checking out and my cart is going to be 200 pounds it better be nice items i like this but i don't really like embroidery like this so there's no need for me to open that so i keep going asos doesn't have you know too much stuff at the moment i can already tell but usually when they're doing sales i usually find like a lot of lot of hidden gems as well so i'm sure you kind of understand how i shop for dresses now like um what would i call it midi dresses so let's say i want something more structured right so i keep going i like this this is pretty so we'll open it up because sometimes these dresses look so good but when you turn to the back it's it's rubbish but this is a yes for me it's an absolute yes the thing i want to say i love the puff sleeves this is a yes for me i love the tie neck i love the fit i definitely would get this in a uk 10 because it's just i just know it's just going to be snug and perfect this will look nice i would personally style it with also strappy heels maybe not this color and just have my hair in a bun or have my hair like a side part this is a yes however another thing that i always do is i always always check the details I check the fabric, I check the, the 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 wash, I check everything. Now this is light woven and the fabric um stretches, so I know that this will be good. I wouldn't need to go a size down, a size with a size 10 is just gonna be perfect. I have to put that into consideration as well. I always, always check this as well. I check if it's cutting. If it's like maybe say um 
what's this material i really really hate <laughs> this uh, the name eludes me now if i remember i'll put it on the screen i don't like materials that are so flimsy and just i just i just don't like it so this is good um for personally is it worth 55 pounds usually if i apply 20 percent off yes i would definitely pay 38 pounds for this i even 42 pounds for this i would just and it's from little mistress i know i have lots of clothes from them pants everything i just know that it's just going to be good quality and it will last me the test of time and in case you're wondering look uh, to see now this is another gem i know that it doesn't look too attractive on the model although this the back you can always wear a vest with this because of the way the front is it won't be too bad but i really really like the front of the dress i think it's casual it's simple this doesn't have a video so i'm not able to look at the video i'll look at the size so i can add this to cut i like the length as well these are casuals for me i'll just wear this with sandals over summer and just look good me i try to just stick with dresses nice top as i said things that have detail that's just the way i personally shop because i find that it's so easy to look good once you know what suits your body you don't over experiment you're not doing the most so i'm just going to just for people that maybe they want something a little bit more affordable we can do low to high just so that we can you know cater to another audience or when i say affordable which this 60 now i've not even gone too far can you guys see the trash okay this is not let me say trash because this is someone's creation god have mercy on me but this is this is just rubbish like i would never wear this i don't consider this beautiful they don't look attractive to me in any way it looks very cheap and tacky this would have been manageable but the color doesn't suit i do not like the mesh in the between and it's just no it's just i just feel like the the blue may end up looking cheap like and if you have a stomach it will show so this might be a no for me and also if i wear this dress in my size the boob may be coming out of where this mesh so this is, is the reason why i really don't do low to high because personally they don't have too much nice stuff as except when they're doing sale on higher end items or more expensive items let me say higher end because they're still clothes that cost like 300 pounds and above but it's just look at we've already scrolled to 10 pounds and it's still not good enough so i just i wouldn't know well this looks cute i like this but yes this looks cute this looks doable this looks cute but i'm not really sure of the fabric and i'm not really sure of the color and it doesn't have any video and i'm not sure how it will look at the back like the butt area not because the model is not extremely curvy but just the the, the silhouette of the dress i'm not sure it's it, it's going to be super flattering so and also another good thing about asus is that you're able to see reviews and as you can see the reviews are terrible looks weird exactly it's not pink it's not white so i just i just leave it so now let's go to john lewis you know let's have a look at john lewis if you're looking for clothes that let me say you want to be able to wear to church what i find is that most of my friends that complain to me is that they always have clothes for or drinks with the girls um night out of town you know clothes clothes that maybe you need to be a bit um i don't want to say scantily clad but if that's your style that's the word that, that, that comes to my head but when it's time for them to have go for limit proper cocktails classier events okay maybe not classier because classy is subjective but you know more upscale events they don't have anything to wear because what happens is they've used their entire closet to buy cheaper clothes 10 pounds clothes 20 pounds pretty little thing not like the sell rubbish but those kind of clothes then when they need to come correct they don't have anything of good quality that they can even give out to somebody and that's the thing about for me you know my friend is always saying that when i buy clothes i'm always saying Ugh, something i can give out because that's the truth I want to be able to say if I want this dress maybe twice and I don't want it anymore. If I'm giving it to somebody, the person would appreciate and value it, and it will be something they can wear for an interview, a business function, a nice lunch dinner to church, and it will be of good value, not just clothes that are just tacky. So I really love John Lewis because they have they carry some of my best designers, which is Adriana Papel, and you know just really really nice designers like Phase Eight, just see i've found that in the uk the more expensive clothes are the nicer quality clothes so for example this is a yes for me but knowing john lewis when it's reduced to claire most times the smaller sizes are out of stock this is a huge yes for me i definitely would pay 
40 pounds for this French connection dress. It's a simple dress. It's like a shift dress. The length is perfect. As I said, I love the detail and you can pair it with a wide waist, um, a wide waisted belt. So this, they don't have an eight. They don't have a 10 because I have a sewing machine. I would easily take a 12 and I would slim fit the sides and I'll stop here so that it has a more a line effect so when i wear it this part is more flared out and it even looks way nicer than it looks on the model so i can add this to my wish list i need to sign in or i can add it to my basket right so i don't know why this is taking forever right i can just add it to my basket so i'm not sharing this account with anybody so i would happily buy this if i were going shopping another thing i would also buy is as i said you can also i mean asos um rather so not asos john lewis does a lot of sales i love this dress so much 78 pounds is a bit high for me for this kind of you know texture it has this kind of polo ralph lauren you know look going but it is a gorgeous classy dress it's a dress i mean i think my daughter even has something like this look at the neckline it's beautiful and the reason why it's reduced to claire is because it only size eight but looking at the fabric i actually might be able to wear a size eight in this because i think this is like viscose absolutely yeah it has viscose in it so i may be able to wear a size eight in this and it will be just firm my only concern is about the bust area but i will also look at what the model size what the model is wearing well the model is wearing a, a size 10 and she looks slimmer than me so i would not i would not gamble on this and get so next so i mean i shop a lot on john lewis i have so many dresses that i bought and usually between the price range of 38 pounds to about 50 pounds on john lewis i think the last one i bought was 65 pounds but it was it's a dress that i just love the dress it's structured if i give anybody that dress after i've worn it i'm sure the person would be glad to have the dress so usually they have so many so many clothes a lot of them may not be eye-catching as i said but you know, you just take your time. You go through the the, the 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 website, you know, carefully. As I said, okay, let me look at because I already know the kind of brands that I like their design. So if I were to do Adriana Papel now, okay, so it's gonna come up. Okay, this is a yes. Can you guys see like when I'm typing the designers, you can see I I have this dress actually. I wore this dress to church on Sunday. I will try and insert the picture of this dress maybe onto the screen. I haven't put it up on my story. A lot of people were able to buy it. Let me see how many sizes. They still have 12 and 14. And this dress is rich. Just best believe this dress is rich in person. They actually, you know, see, this is my photo. Actually, I didn't even know my photo was on their Instagram. And Papel is a yes for me all the time. This is a yes for me as well. It's gorgeous. I like the cuts. I know a lot of people are, um, are be like, oh, but off shoulder. Trust me, I don't say anything sexual about this. I think this is classy. This is how off shoulder should be done and just simple as i said and timeless this is very cute and i think you know when you if you have any like um adrian papel dresses you will know that every single price is worth it the fabric is not crap it's good and this is not even sponsored obviously you guys i'm just being honest so this this is this this is a designer that i personally love i mean if i was going out with my husband for like a nice dinner event we would totally i would buy this i'll buy this in my style I will buy this. It's a little bit risky. Obviously, I will pair with another type of shoe, but I think it's something that if you are not as tall as the model, it will be very flattering because this um length makes you look um a bit shorter than it should be. But I think it's it's a really, really pretty dress and I would buy this. And £76 is nothing really for a dress like this. So as you can see, there's some of the designers that um I would wear. This is also totally my style. I know it seems like, you know, a lot of the dresses are like, midi and you know maxi length but honestly i just rather wear that not because it's just big you just have it just has me i believe that you know fashion is a statement and it's just nicer so this is also on sale for 73 pounds so i kind of know like the, the the brands and i kind of just work through with that so the more you the more time you spend shopping you're able to kind of see okay what suits me what kind of designer what kind of brand who and when i say designer i don't mean like you know um you know gucci prada who is the designer of the dress who made the dress so for example you know coast you know 
um what's um karen millen you know clothes like that i just feel like they just have better quality clothes and initially you know when i when i started buying clothes like this let me put it this way because i've not always bought clothes like this for myself personally my mom used to buy them for me but when i started buying it for myself i now understood the pricing behind it because th these people take a lot of detail in producing their clothes so that, that that's what um that's why you know this cost the clothes cost a bit much so i take my time this as i said they are going out dresses and this is from adriana papel so you can see i can see myself in literally almost i mean look at this look at this 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 beauty you know the the, the and i have hips so i'm able to envision how this clothes will sit on my body this is absolutely gorgeous like the neckline is just beautiful it may not look all down the model but trust me when you if you see someone in person wearing this with different choice of shoes i would style it definitely differently i would wear simpler shoes i'll wear bad 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 statement earrings and i'll have my hair up so that the detail on the dress can show and just a nice purse can you see compare this to this it doesn't look great but trust me i already know if i wear this and i get this in my perfect size it will be absolutely perfect i just know especially because of the ruching on the side so that's one clothes i would i would actually shop now let's think of let me see i mean just look at this you know this is just so gorgeous oh sorry i've got a mail coming yeah so these are the kind of clothes that i would shop as well um yeah so we can go back we're done with um john lewis i think you know with all these things that i'm seeing you're able to pick at least one of two things that i'm going to be talking about once this video reaches like 30 minutes i'm going to stop and maybe say if you have questions to to spin off from this you know recording we can we can um we can do a spin-off video just some of the things that i consider when i'm going shopping all right um maybe another time we'll do an accessories like shoes i i really don't like to buy shoes online as such i'd rather go to tk Maxx and buy my shoes i'll buy you know really really good brands that are very very comfortable and i'm able to try them on because online can be funny you buy them they say size six which is my size like uk 39 uk size six and then when it comes it's just rubbish i just want you guys to just compare where we're coming from to this this is just it's just not my style i would never wear any of this and so that's how i basically shop really i just take my time i study everything and sure that there's a catwalk and yeah i shop 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 so sometimes i'm looking for leather jackets you know why i like asos is because you know um they have um they have lots of designers like it's like a marketplace so i'll go to women and then i'm able to buy i would buy this but this is from asos design i'm not really too keen on asos design's clothes asos design has really beautiful things but i'm not sure that fabric is the best i have some asos design clothes that are so stunning but i'm not sure the fabric you know is on the long run i have one pull and bear leather jacket that i bought on sale from asos and it was so beautiful it's one of the best jackets i have i'll see if i can insert a picture of me wearing the jacket and i can't even find you on the website i will have shown you the the jacket now but yeah this is how i would buy i mean i would pay any amount they put here i would pay up to 50 pounds for a nice leather jacket even more because i just think these are things that you don't need to buy every year you have them for the longest time so yeah so basically that's how i shop online i've told you guys the things that i do the things that i check out for and see the thing is if you see a designer that you like maybe say you, you like um something ted becati is another one you know for the kind of clothes that i like if you see um something that you like here you're just able to just copy the name of the designer like jolie moore jolie moore oh my bad and then you can paste it and then all their clothes will come out do you understand and then you're able to buy i know that this dress looks ugly but trust me this dress is very beautiful i don't know why i'm getting these meals i know it looks ugly but trust me i know this dress will be very very nice i would certainly pair with an orange purse but not this shape and I just, the model doesn't just do justice, but look, I can tell by the, even the, the clothes, the dress on itself looks better than it's on the model. So I know this dress will really, really suit me. About, um, I have things I entertain my child with. So I would buy this and it's on £39 for sale. I'll get this in a 10 so it can be very, very snug. But they say it's only size 8 online. So I can always go into John Lewis and pick this up when I go shopping next. And yeah, so those are some of the things I want you to consider. I don't always judge by the model. Literally picture yourself in the model's um, body or in the outfit. And then you can shop following on from there.
Okay, so for instance, this one now, you know, it may not look so pretty to anybody, but I actually do have a dress very similar to this. I'm going to insert a reel of me wearing, you know, something like this dress and how it would look on you just depends on the styling now. So just to judge that sometimes it's not always by um, how it looks on the model, which even with this model, she still looks very pretty. Okay, Ari, but it's still lovely. And you can see it's like 10 people have bought this in the last hour. Although I wouldn't pay £49 for this, personally. But this is just something that if your budget was a bit um, more accommodating for something like this, and probably for the designer, you may want to consider getting this. The most I would pay for this is £28. And the one that I have that was very similar to this, I got that from, um, what's it called? I think... It's not principles, if not principles, it's one Debnam's brand. And I think I got it on sale for maybe 18 pounds. So yeah. You can open as many tabs as you want and you'll be able to buy everything you want. You see, I just opened this brand and you can already see, I mean, this dress is so beautiful. I actually, I'm probably going to get this one. Let me see if they've got it. Okay, they've got size 10 online. I would definitely pay for this. This is so, so beautiful. And I love the, the the print. Yellow is a beautiful color that I love. I really like, so I know that this would do justice. So, I mean, this dress is very, very gorgeous. And £45 is nothing to... Okay, don't let me say it's nothing to me for a good dress. So, yeah. That's about it, guys. I'm just going to go on now with the actual outro of this video. And then we can talk more on the style. Okay, so bye, guys. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I'm not sure I missed anything. Please feel free to leave your... um questions in the comment box i'll try in the description box as well to leave sites that i usually shop from nothing in this video is sponsored nothing at all everything here i bought with my money anything that i've shown you that probably i said i have it was bought with my money this video is not sponsored but i'm just going to leave you know more information in the description box if there's anything that comes to mind as at the time i'm editing this video if not just share like comment i have like mommy eyes as i'm doing this video i'm looking at leave my tripod stand thank you Okay, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye bye. Leave my tripod stand alone. I'm not laughing with you. Do you want to come and say hi? Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Wait, let me do your skirt. Wow, are you ready to say bye, everybody? She's waving, you can't see her hand. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Are you ready? Clap for everybody. Clap for everybody. Clap for yourself. No. No. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Okay, she's tired now. Okay, bye, guys.